Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and other distinguished guests. We're going to be discussing and discovering things about the Monster Hunter Wild announcement trailer that occurred last night at the Game Awards. Before we get into it today, I want to just say that this video is recorded live on Twitch. Come around to see what I'm doing, we've got loads of stuff lined up, like my first ever Pokemon Nuzlocke and a playthrough of the Indigo Disc Pokemon DLC, where I'm giving away free shinies to viewers in chat whenever my challenges fail. I don't want to bore you too much before we get into the discussion, but come and follow me over there! Promise you have a good time, and I love having a good old talk with everyone. Either way, let's get on with the show! Alright, so, the big talking points I want to get to. It looks amazing, right? It does look good. For a trailer, Capcom has knocked it out of the park again. It does look like we're coming back to, to our big, big, big consoles again. We're gonna get back into actually having some beefy graphics on this. And it's not that Rise wasn't pretty, but you can tell that they had to turn things down to be able to make it work. I'm not disappointed in that. Rise was fantastic. The thing I'm more concerned about, because of course, it's a game, so we have to be concerned about things that are related to games. The gameplay's looking a bit different, isn't it? It says a lot that what we've seen more here, unlike with the release trailers for World and things like that, is looking at the movement. We're looking at moving around on this bird women thing, which by the way, very cute. I'm liking it a lot. It's very gray, very gray brown, very desaturated. They're very much not showing off a super, super colorful area. In fact, the character is the most colorful part of all of this. Also, this is a horde of monsters. That's like six of these big guys here. Are these something that you're hunting? These little guys here, there's a herd of them. There's dozens of them as well. We never saw, we've never seen anything like that in earlier titles. Not once have we seen such a huge amount of monsters on screen at once. Since Monster Hunter World, they have been really wanting to pursue a much more living situation with the way that Monster Hunter is. They want it to be an ecosystem. They want that to be uh, a key part of the way that the story of the world plays out alongside you being a hunter. If that's going to be what the scale of encounters are, then the way that Monster Hunter is going to be working is going to have to be different. The way that we're going to have to actually play the game is going to have to be different because it's not going to be any more just go and find a boss and fight it. What we're seeing here, I think, is the next logical step. For people to say this is Monster Hunter World 2 isn't right. I think this is more likely, this is more likely going to be an expansion further away from that. And I'm really looking forward to what that could mean for the title. Are we going to be seeing a little bit more symbiosis with monsters, as opposed to us always just being opposed to them. Are we always going to be fighting them? That kind of thing. Riding monsters, exactly. Yeah, I, I think that was a big thing that they added in in Rise specifically to be able to ride monsters, and in World as well. They did they did let you ride monsters in Iceborne. The symbiosis of that kind of thing, very important. If we go back to Monster Hunter Try we can see the existence of the desire for Capcom to make Monster Hunter into a game all about interacting with the ecosystem. They did that with swimming. Swimming was not very well received. I don't think we're going to see a repeat of swimming come back because it wasn't well received. Then, Monster Hunter 4, we added mounting. Mounting became very, very popular because it became a way to be able to really interact with monsters beyond just killing them. Then in World we get the existence of the the claw, the, the, the sling, and the ability to ride monsters more, and the ability to climb on monsters and hit more parts, and actually go all over the monster, uh, not just hitting it until it goes down. Then in Rise, as we see the idea becoming more about verticality, as ever, Monster Hunters wanted to be a game where you travel and move about in three dimensions. Which I think is the reason why we're seeing this little guy here. Look at him. He looks great, doesn't he? This little bird guy. He's fantastic. He's a raptor, clearly, right? He is so cute. I love him. He's, he's all purple and blue and pretty. And he's great. I, I love it. It's 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 It feels so very Monster Hunter. But there's one thing that I'm thinking, that I'm noticing, right? Where's the Palicos? Palicos are a core identity for Monster Hunter. 
maybe it's not shown yet. See, I'm I'm not gonna be the kind of person that says, we didn't see it in the trailer, so it must not exist. But like, Alakos are a core part of the way that Monster Hunter's always been. Maybe we see a generation where Alakos aren't your core support anymore. I'm glad that we're not just going to be doing a rise again and having Palamutes and Palicos and all of that kind of thing. I'm glad if this guy here is going to be more of our companion. If we're going to actually see a bit more of a some take from Monster Hunter Riders, for instance, that would be pretty cool. And on your point of saying, I feel like they should just bring back swimming. I feel like they should bring back swimming too. I think we could make it fun. I feel like they could do it really well, especially because it's not going to be on the Wii. <laughs> Simple thing, just not having it be on the Wii would help a lot. The big question that I have on everything is how far is Capcom going to go? What parts of Monster Hunter's core identity are we going to lose in the name of becoming that? Are we going to lose some of the more silly comedic vibes that we used to have? Because going from, going from Gen 4 to Monster Hunter World, you see a... not a lack of humour, but less gaggy humor sometimes, you know? I feel like there's a lot of the silly things that existed inside of Monster Hunter uh, Generation 4 and prior that doesn't necessarily exist in World. And we got a little bit of that back, back in Rise, but we also saw the introduction of some other things that weren't quite as nice in Rise and in World. Namely, are we going to see a continued uptick of microtransactions in Monster Hunter? I strongly hope that the humor inside of Monster Hunter doesn't remain paywalled. If you don't know what I'm talking about, for Monster Hunter Rise, many cosmetics were made available for a price, and I'm not a big fan of that. More non-draconic monsters, I 100% agree. I would love to see um, things like the, the, what was it, the Neopterons come back. We need more crab monsters. Um, like. I'm not going to say let's bring back every, say, every, absolutely everything that we had in previous generations because I feel like it's a bit much. I'd like to make a couple important notes that are not just about Monster Hunter, like Monster Hunter's like, you know, framework of this kind of thing, but more about the actual questions of what we're going to be seeing with this is it's coming to PC at launch big change with Monster Hunter World um, because Monster Hunter World came out on consoles first and then PC later and I'm really hoping that because we're being advertised seeing PC for it's PC at the same time as the other consoles we're not going to see a repeat of what happened with World but I'm glad that they changed the way they did things in Rise because Rise was friendly for modding are we going to be seeing Monster Hunter Wilds be an incredibly moddable game again? Or are we going to see Monster Hunter World 2 and have performance issues from the start? On one hand, I'm hoping they're not going to do that. On the other hand, I'm scared that they might. No matter what, I'm very, very excited for Monster Hunter Worlds. I'm interested in it. Um, people are going to see it and they're going to think Monster Hunter World 2. And I'm hoping that Capcom is not going to just give us Monster Hunter World 2. They're going to give us a new title, not incremental, but something new, something fresh. World feels barren without more wildlife. I totally agree. I absolutely 100% agree. Um, I think that this is the best way that they could do it. If we're gonna start seeing Monster Hunter World, I, I, I honestly thought if we're gonna start seeing Monster Hunter become an open worldy type game with seamless areas and that kind of thing, uh, we need to do more to make it feel less. What's the word? Because even World, as you go through some of the earlier areas, even as chock full of stuff it feels, right? You're still only walking into like five Aptonoths and then going through an area and finding Rathos and fighting it. Are we going to be seeing Monster Hunter Wild giving us an open world for the first time in Monster Hunter ever with a focus on a much, much more dense ecosystem? I hope so. My question for everyone is what everyone else thinks. The concerns I've listed, do you think they make sense? Or am I just being paranoid? Am I just overanalyzing this this stuff? Like, am I just thinking too much? I'd like to be told I'm thinking too much. I'd like to be told to just trust Capcom and, and let it happen. But I think I've been burnt too many times by just trusting a, trusting a developer with things. 
think you're right to be worried about your favorite game series, but they're pretty good too. Exactly. Like, World wasn't a disappointment. There were just some things in it that were disappointing. World was good. Ostensibly good. In fact, undeniably good. Like, you don't have to look too far to see the uh, the sales figures of Monster Hunter World compared to the sales figures of earlier titles to realize that, damn, it was a good game. What do you want to see return? Are we wanting to see more monsters come back? What kind of monsters are we wanting to see coming back? I'd like to see personally things like, um, like Diacrus, for instance. A lot of the world monsters would be awesome to see return back. But at the same time, are we just gonna get the same repeats of things? Zamtrus, Zamtrus would be awesome. You know you're, you, you know we're gonna get a Zenoga. You know we're gonna get like a whole bunch of things that are just the same stuff, which is okay. I don't mind that. Maybe we'll, may, maybe we'll see a return of some old, uh, older El Elder Dragons, you know? I'd like to have Valhazark back. Valhazark would be awesome to get back. Please. <laughs> it's gonna be good. It's gonna be good to get back into a big title Monster Hunter game. I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited for it. I think the cool, the cool bird dinosaur is really cool. I like it a lot. I want to hope for the best. I'm hoping we're not gonna get, like, I don't think we're ever gonna get a situation where Monster Hunter's ever gonna do a game that is an incremental uh, change from the previous game ever again. I think we're always gonna see these massive uh, paradigm shifts. We're always gonna see that huge changeover in the way that the game works. And I think that aspect of Monster Hunter has always been something I love about it. The fact that no two games are actually just the same. Hi, here in the outro. I want to say I'm still figuring out how to do all this, so thanks for watching. And if you feel like keeping up to date with anything that's going on with me, whether that's live on stream or here on YouTube, you can join my Discord. If you haven't already, please subscribe and like. And if you want to talk about anything I've brought up today, drop a comment to me down below. Either way, thank you for your support, and I will see you next time. Goodbye. I'm really hoping that we're going to see cross-play for Monster Hunter World. Uh, Monster Hunter Wilds. Really hoping that we're going to see crossplay because we need that. Oh god, we need that.